Hello friends, today we are going to do theorems on parallelograms and uh, this theorem is very much important because uh, this theorem, the idea is the concept of this theorem uh, is very important because in coming theorems you are going to use the concept of these theorems so therefore these theorems uh, I must say is very important theorem so here the theorem states parallelograms on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in area so we need to do uh, we need to make uh, suppose two parallelograms are between the same parallels on the same base so you have to make a diagram according to that suppose there are two parallel lines okay this line is parallel to this line now you need to make a parallelogram okay this line this line is parallel to this parallel line now you need to make a parallelogram on it this is one parallelogram and another parallelogram you can make like this So there are two parallelograms. Now you have seen there are two parallelograms now, hardly and very poor in diagram. You can name this as A, B, C, D, and you can name it as this point as E, this point as F. Now you can see two uh, parallelograms here. One is A, B, C, D, and another one is E, B, C, F. And also you can see that this two parallelograms they have the same as BC and they are between the same parallels AF and BC. Okay, given. As you have seen already, two parallelograms, parallelograms, parallelograms A B C D and what is another one? Uh, A B C D and another one E B C F. E, B, C, F stands on the same base stands on the same base B, C and are between between these same parallels between the same parallels A, F and F and B, C ok now this is given now what do you need to prove to prove to prove that this areas of parallelogram are equal therefore to prove area of parallelogram area parallelogram ABCD equals to area of parallelogram EBCF EBCF okay we need to prove that these areas are equal now now if you look closely on the diagram there are two triangles this triangle triangle a b e and another triangle triangle d c f okay and now the figure in the middle that is e b c d is a trapezium or you can say any uh, collateral okay so now you need to try to establish the relation between these two triangles. Okay. Now let's take these two triangles. Now proof. In triangle ABE and triangle DCF. Okay. Now how do, uh, now in triangle ABE and triangle DCF now a b e and triangle d c f now what you can say now if you take these two suppose this is a parallel line okay uh, in this trapezium suppose a b is parallel to d c you know that because a b c d is a parallelogram right a b c d in a b c d is a b is parallel to d c now since these two are parallel and if this one if this AD is a transversal. If AD is a transversal, then what you can say? This angle is equal to this angle. What is the reason? Now, I, now this is not the part of theorem, but this is the basic uh, property. 
So any two lines are parallel and if the, if the transversal cuts these two lines, then what you can say? This angle and this angle are equal. And what is the reason? Corresponding angle on the same side of the transversal. And if uh, the line is parallel, same way. This line DC is parallel to AB since it is a parallelogram. So you can say and AD is a transversal, then this angle and this angle is equal. The reason is corresponding angle. So you can write this angle, angle FAB, angle FAB is equal to angle, this one angle, uh, not, this is not A, this is E, angle EAB is equal to this angle, angle, what is the angle, angle FDC, angle FDC, what is the reason? Corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Why corresponding angles? Since why corresponding angles? Since as we know ABCD is a parallelogram, therefore AB is parallel to DC. Since AB is parallel to DC, and what is acting as transversal here? AD. AD is transversal. Okay. Now similarly. Similarly, if you look at this parallelogram, EB, EB and uh, EB and CF, sorry, EBCF parallelogram, there is also, this, these two sides are parallel, right? EBCF, these two sides are parallel because it's the property parallelogram. So EB, EB is parallel to FC and here EF is the transversal, that means this angle, this angle and this angles are equal. This is also corresponding angle. So you can write this angle. Angle AEB. Angle AEB is equal to angle this angle. What is the angle? Angle DFC. Angle DFC. The reason? Corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. And why corresponding angles? Since here EB is parallel to FC reason EVCF is a parallelogram and what is acting as uh, transversal here EF EF is transversal now now two pair of angles are equal now in these two parallelograms now they are in the same base right they are in the same base and there are two triangles now what we can say here now in these two triangles, this triangle and this triangle, what is common here? Anything is common here? What is in these two triangles? Angle and so two pairs of angles are already equal here. The reason is corresponding angles. This angle is equal to this, this, this angle is equal to this angle, the reason is corresponding angle. And similarly, this angle is equal to this angle, the reason is corresponding angles. So now, so what, uh, so another one, what you can write here, this side, you can take it these two sides or you can take it these two sides. So one of the pair of this opposite side is equal. So you can write, because this is a parallelogram, you write, you can take this or this in a parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel and equal also. So you can take it any parallelogram, this one or this one. So if you take this parallelogram, you can write AB is equal to DC. So this is all the property of parallelogram that you have done in previous classes. So you now you, you can choose any parallelogram, this one or this one. Whether you take any parallelogram, but you should know the property that one pair of parallel, uh, one pair of, so not only pair of opposite sides of uh, parallelogram are parallel as well as they are equal. So now if we take this parallelogram into consideration, that means this side is parallel as well as equal. So you can write AB is equal to DC. You can write AB is equal to DC. Opposite sides of a opposite sides of a parallelogram. Now, now with this first angle angle side postulates, what you can write that these two triangles are congruent. So what you can write, therefore, triangle A B. Triangle ABE, triangle ABE is congruent to triangle DCF. 
reason angle angle side postulate okay so now when these two triangles are congruent again what is equal their areas are equal therefore now since we have found we have proved that these two triangles are congruent so what do you have right therefore area of triangle ABE is equal to area of triangle DCF so now it is now since these two triangles are congruent therefore this uh, their areas are equal now <coughs> now see see into the figure now uh, this triangle triangle a b e and this uh, figure this quadrilateral e b c d which is a trapezium now when you combine these two figures you will get a b c d as a parallelogram right so you can write therefore triangle a e b or triangle a b e triangle a b e now triangle a b e plus plus this uh, this figure trapezium what is this e b c d e b c d when you add up this when you add up this when you add up this triangle a b and trapezium uh, e b c d what you get you get parallelogram which parallelogram you get a b c d a b c d right you get this one now now or triangle a b e you get this parallelogram a b c d e this you can mark it as uh, now uh, equation 1 right or this is equation 1 equation 1 similarly similarly when you add up these two figures you get this parallelogram again similarly in this parallel when you add up these two figures you get this parallelogram so similarly you can add this this triangle dca plus this trapezium similarly triangle dcf plus trapezium same trapezium ebcd ebcd equals to it gives the parallelogram ebcf parallelogram e b c f this is equation 2 okay this is equation 2 now now from any equation now this or now or now from equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 now on the left hand side EBCD EBCD is same only what is different triangle AB is triangle ADC is triangle DCF is different but now we are in the end of the theorem now these two uh, area uh, these two triangles are only different but it is not different we have already proved here that triangle ABE and triangle DCF that means these two triangles are same so therefore uh, from one and two from one and two okay take one from one and two what you can write uh, to, repeat the equation uh, equation number one or two triangle a b e triangle a b e plus e b c d equals to parallelogram a b c d we are repeating equation number one now or in place of triangle ABE what you can write in place of triangle ABE you can write in a uh, here we have proved in place of triangle ABE we have uh, proved that this AB is equal to DCF so in place of AB you can write triangle DCF triangle DCF because it is already proved so plus EBCD will be the same is equal to parallelogram a b c d now this is equation number three 
This equation number three. Now, take equation number two and equation number three. The left hand side are equal. Equation number two, triangle DCA plus uh, EBCD is equal to parallelogram EBCF. And equation number three, triangle DCA plus EBCD is equal to uh, parallelogram EBCD. Now, what we can say from two and three, the left hand sides are equal. So, if the left hand sides are equal, then definitely the right hand sides are equal. So, this is finally uh, from three and four. From three and four. The left hand sides are equal, therefore their right hand sides are equal. So this parallel, this right hand side and this right hand side are equal. Therefore, area of parallelogram A, B, C, D is equal to area of parallelogram uh, E, B, C, F. E, B, C, F. So we have proved that two parallelograms if they stand on the same base and between the same parallels then their areas are equal so proved q a d thank you